Good day, everyone. My name is Wilton. Welcome to another episode of Market Views. And I'm with Faro, as usual. And today we're talking about Econet. Uh, to, to all those who have been following our show, we have uh, highlighted that Econet is the biggest count on ZSE in terms of market cap, holding around 20% of the market. And having the results coming out now in July, but the full year ends around end of February, 28 February. So g- getting results four months, about four months in, after the full recording period in regarding in factors such as inflation in Zimbabwe. It is a bit late for us to make quite uh, incisive decisions or for these results to affect the price or the, the pricing of the, of the stock on the exchange. But we c- really appreciate this because it gives us an overview of what has really been happening in, in the market and in terms of uh, revenues and uh, expenditures, even just quite on top. So. Give, taking note of that, Profar, what is uh, your overview of the results we got from Econet? Thank you very much, uh, Hilton. I think uh, there are a good set of uh, financials that we got from Econet uh, this year in inflation adjusted terms. I think their top line uh, improved over 50%. Uh, they managed to uh, contain their margins, uh, their EBITDA margin was uh, around 52%, uh, uh, same with uh, last year, over 50%. So I, 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 I think it's been a pretty much a good year. Their earnings were up uh, over 1,000%. Uh, and you can see that uh, even uh, the most important line on their financials, which I think uh, are the exchange losses, decreased significantly from the uh, previous year, which was the uh, FY21, uh, because of uh, the bit of stability that happened uh, in uh, FY22. So uh, overall, I think uh, there were uh, somewhat good uh, financials. They, however, didn't declare dividends. They have about 10 billion uh, uh, local currency that they are reinvesting back into capital exp- uh, expenditure. You know, telecoms is a capital intensive uh, industry and you have to uh, reinvest significantly uh, into new technology so that you keep up. So, yeah, overall, I, I, I think uh, those were the highlights from the results that we got from Econet this year. All right. Looking at the results, I think focusing mainly on the top line the revenue, we are seeing uh, an increase in revenue, both in inflation adjusted and uh, in historical terms. But they are noting that uh, these revenues are not what they would be expecting uh, due to the inflationary pressures and also to the, to the regulator portraits saying by the time they are given uh, the go ahead to review their prices, they will be way below. I think we have all experienced and noted that it's way cheaper to use vo- voice calls now in t- because of these uh, tariffs regarding to maybe three, five years ago when with a US dollar you'd call something like four or five minutes. Now you're getting, depending on, on what rate you get, you are ready to it. So how does this, uh, how may this uh, affect uh, the company going forward? Are we going to see maybe stability on the inflation rate? Are you, Regulator may maybe regulator will try and adjust the the, the review policies for 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 for, 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 for But uh, my question now is, going forward, uh, will this affect? Obviously, it has been affecting the, the counter, but will this now affect the uh, uh, counter more going forward, or maybe there might be stability somewhere, somewhere? Okay, uh, th- uh, thanks. You. T- so, so like you rightfully mentioned, so Econet is telling us that they probably the cheapest uh, tariffs in the region. Mm. Uh, in fact, in their financials, they compared uh, their tariffs uh, with uh, regional averages. But maybe not in, as an analyst, but as a as just a customer, I really don't think uh, their, their, their tariffs are any cheaper compared to probably uh, how I was using uh, their services in the uh, uh, USD era to now. I don't really feel like uh, at this point it's it's cheaper to be uh, buying uh, uh, data from uh, Econet. And the other thing is, which rate are you using to discount those numbers for you to compare them with regional peers and say uh, the, these are cheaper? And, that rate, is it a, a true reflection of what's actually uh, happening in the economy? 
So I think uh, those are two notes uh, that should be noted uh, with concern. But if you then try to look at um, their revenue over a 10-year horizon, you, you somewhat get their sense to say uh, this year's revenue wasn't uh, the highest in the past 10 years. In fact, their highest revenues were recorded around 2013, 2014. But also you then note that it's not only a matter of them, the whole economy. During that time, companies were recording High, uh, high, high, high revenues. So, yeah, to to some extent, uh, th th that could be the case. But uh, I just feel like it's uh, neither here nor there. But what I think would mitigate that uh, is uh, selling more of their um, uh, services, uh, which is their airtime, their data in. Um, in USD, which they've uh, already started uh, doing, uh, thereby it removes all these uh, complaints that they are saying that the uh, um, Potras uh, is delaying in reviewing uh, in line with inflation. So I, I just think that deals away with uh, with all that, depending on how they will succeed on uh, pers uh, pursuing, making sure that the majority of their clients buy in USD. So in, it's now a matter of pricing. Yes. How is your price in USD compared to in local currency so that you try and persuade your customers to buy using uh, the, 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 the USD. So yes, going into the uh, FY23, I think uh, we're going to hear less of complaints from that uh, because of the measures that I just highlighted. All right. Link, linking revenue and uh, the issue you alleged on the first point, which is uh, capital expenditure. I think you alleged that uh, telecoms is quite a capital, uh, capital intensive industry. And uh, we saw Econet saying they are launching the 5G network in Zimbabwe. And this is something which is quite massive in terms of uh, requirements. I don't think uh, 10 billion in local currency would cut such uh, for the whole project to, 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 be, uh, to be a success. So maybe most of their USD revenues will probably channel to to them uh, buying equipment and whatever required and needed for them to set up quite a strong five uh, G network. So you are at the point of saying they need to or they can improve uh, forms to get f foreign currency, but is that the 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 best way? And would that benefit uh, coming to us as investors? How would that benefit the investor? Because uh, they're seeing profits, yeah, we're not seeing dividends. Uh, the counter is, is trading about 30%, it's here high, which is quite low. And so as an investor now, uh, are all these things going to benefit the investor or maybe this is the new normal, these are the new revenues for Econet, this is the new price for, for Econet? Okay, so I, 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 I think, um this can be the, 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 the new normal. Econet right now is trading 30% of its uh, year high. It's, uh, it's it's trading way low uh, and it has to, to, to rebound to, 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 to its year highs. So in terms of CAPEX, this year they are doing about 8 to 9% uh, of their revenue reinvesting into CAPEX, of which the average industry uh, revenue, which is reinvested back into CAPEX, is around 15%. You can see the gap there. So a lot has to be done, and it speaks to the issue of uh, foreign currency. You know, uh, reinvestments back into CAPEX are usually uh, FX uh, denominated rather than uh, ZWL. So I, I think... Uh, just allowing them to collect part of their revenues in in uh, foreign currency would be a, a, a very big uh, game changer. Perhaps uh, the, the auction could uh, help some way in terms of uh, getting that money for for uh, uh, capex because it's very important. And linking to what you uh, were talking about, five uh, G. I really believe the future of telecoms is more into data. So if you've been looking over the past five years, you can see that uh, the contribution of voice and airtime is significantly reduced as the contribution of uh, data and internet services is increasing. Yes. And uh, I personally think they have to invest more in that because that's where they can uh, really uh, get higher margins uh, there. So that that's the future. And I think they have to uh, invest significantly in that so that they can uh, move uh, towards their, 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 their true value.
So if you look, Econet traded uh, above a billion in terms of market cap uh, this year. I think at some point it got to uh, 1.5 billion. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying those are the, 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 the their values. true values. But n now to think that it's it's now trading uh, around uh, 400, 400 million, it's just ridiculous. And interesting enough, you know, Econet has uh, a stake uh, in the uh, Econet uh, in, in Mauritius, which is valued at around 145 million. So just to add uh, that already, if you remove that, you are left with around 300 something million. Yeah. So so I, I really think it's, it's really uh, undervalued uh, at the time and a good time for investors to be uh, jumping in. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Rufaro, for that. I think uh, just to underline, it's we're going to maybe we need to focus more on the revenues growth. I think coming from 20, FY 2021 to this current year, only data and uh, software and accessory sales had an increase in terms of uh, inflation adjusted figures. I don't know the uh, metric they used to adjust those, but to the point that data is next it's the thing, future. Yeah, it's the future for for telecoms industry, especially, especially for a counter like Econet. Uh, thank you everyone for joining us this week. See you next week, and please like, share, and subscribe to meet again.